T to the V to the L to the I to the N to the E TV line. Welcome, Outlander. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so I binged all 15 episodes. After I had already seen the pilot last year, but um, in preparation for this interview over the last week. Wow. Oh, wow. I cannot get the theme song out of my damn head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need your help sort of exercising that demon from me uh, later. Maybe you can sing an awful version of it for me. But um, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Um, but first, uh, Sam wanted to ask you, how is your French coming? I understand you're taking some... Très bien. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, no, it's a you know, it's a great part of the uh, of season two that they go to, to France and um, they speak this other language and uh, we've got a fantastic uh, French tutor that um, has been working quite closely with production and uh, yeah, it's really nice to to speak another language and actually uh, infinitely easier than Gaelic, um, which we spoke in the first uh, first season. And Katrina, you already speak French. Right? Oh well, no, I wouldn't go that far. I, I lived she in can. France um, many many years ago, so I I could speak a little bit, but you know, having not been there in about fourteen years, you kind of you lose it. But it's nice. It's nice to speak it again. One of the big questions among fans is whether the second season is going to start off the same way the book did. Um, can you address that? Uh, I can, but I won't. <laughs> yeah, it's a good. Let them wonder. It's an interesting question. You know, it's one of the key. It's one of the key decisions we kind of made. You know, because fans of the book know it opens in a very specific way, and it's very interesting. And it's nice to preserve a little bit of mystery for even people that have read the book. Is there an aspect of uh, the second novel that you're really excited about seeing play out on screen? Uh, a lot of things from the second half during the actual rebellion, because it's intensely dramatic, and there's a number of you know just really you know, heart-ripping scenes that are from that. Uh, from the first part, there's a number of extremely funny scenes, <laughs> which, uh, which I've seen a couple of so far, and they're, they're great. There's a character from season one that shows up in season two and meets up with you guys. We don't want to spoil it for the folks who don't know the books, but can you say whether you shot that scene and what was it like? No, we haven't shot that scene. I'm trying to think of, oh, yeah. okay, yeah, no, we mm. haven't shot that yet. No. So um, we'll email you and tell yeah. you when we've done it. <laughs> <laughs> but there are, actually, there are characters that come back in um, mm. later on when, mm -hmm. uh, in the second part of the season. But with this, some fantastic new characters. Yeah, I mean, that's what's been really exciting. I mean, you know, Sam and I, we... we we've, kind of work together all the time, so it's nice when we get these new people come you're in. You're saying you're bored of me, is that No, right? not at all. I'm not saying that at all. Yeah. Um, and now but we have young, attractive French actors coming in. <laughs> French men come into set, you know, yeah. it's just, I don't know, it's kind of fun. Um, no, but some fantastic actors like Dominique Pignon, Francis de la Tour, um, you know, it's just, it's really exciting. It's just, I think that's one of the great things about the show is that we just get such incredible talent that come in. One of the characters, Annalise, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Jamie's ex. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. uh, what is the dynamic there? She's beautiful and uh, intelligent and um, blonde. Blonde. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, actually, we that's have the whole story. What else do we need to know? That's and, all. Uh, yeah. No. That's um, that pr uh, pretty much takes place in Versailles, and uh, we actually haven't shot that particular part um, because all the Versailles scenes are going to be shot in in England, um, but we're due to go back and, and kind of do that. Um, it's kind of nice, though. I think um, Claire and her sort of bond. Uh, so it's it's nice that we have someone from Jamie's past that comes in, and yet, mm. you know, the girls can be friends too. Are there still feelings between Jamie and Annalise? I think there's a friendship. I, I mean, I, as I said, I haven't played those scenes yet, but I think there's definitely a, a bond and a connection there. And uh, it, <laughs> why are you looking at me? <laughs> Well, and she was the <laughs> she was the very first one who flogged you, so that was really good. <laughs> yeah, it started a whole. Yeah. It's uh, it'll be interesting to play, as I said. You know, we haven't actually got to that yet. So, um, but the actress has been in, and uh, we've you know we've read those scenes in. <laughs> uh, it's been uh, it's been interesting. How's the pregnancy going? Oh, it's I mean you know it's a very very interesting part of, of Claire, you know, the the impending motherhood, it's, you know, it sort of changes everything and she, it's something that she didn't quite think that she would ever be able to achieve. So it's, as, as much as she's so excited and looking forward to it, it, it does bring up a lot of fear and a lot of um, confusion and, you know, what kind of mother will she be? Will she be able to be a good mother? And 
you know, she didn't have her own mother around since the age of um, five, five or seven. Five. five. Um, so, you know, it's 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 a really great great part and and um, I'm, I'm loving playing it and it's nice I get to wear a baby bump which is very interesting except when Sam likes to punch it which is always a bit I weird. don't <laughs> I love that baby bump it's uh, I'm fascinated by it and it's great fun to poke do you guys get a little bit of a break on the sort of assault attack violence front this season that was one one thing that was it's hard to watch characters you care about go through those really graphic trials and tribulations. Is season two a little bit lighter in terms of that? Is well, it, it never more? goes to that place, you know, again. I mean, that was a unique piece of storytelling in, in the whole saga, but it definitely has threat, there's, there has violence, there's assaults, there's, that's there's part of this world, on. there's a war. <laughs> so there's ugly things that will happen, but yeah, that's not, that's not a signature of the show that we do every year.